I let ChatGPT take me on a backpacking solo trip through the desert. Right behind me is probably the biggest cactus I've ever seen. Before we get into the trip, make sure you watch to the end of the video so that you can take my exact ChatGPT prompts and other tools that I used to help make this a great trip. I'm currently in the Superstition National Wilderness in Arizona, but that's not where this trip started. It started at my laptop in a coffee shop on ChatGPT. This is going to be a journey and you're gonna watch ChatGPT spit out an itinerary and I'm going to follow it all the way through. As long as the trip was legal and safe, meaning I wasn't likely to be stranded out there with no water, I would do the trip, whatever ChatGPT told me. And here was my prompt. Give me a challenging and a moderate backpacking itinerary for the Superstition Mountains in Arizona if my free time is Friday 5.30 p.m. to Sunday 8 p.m. Starting and ending at my apartment in Tempe. I want it to be beautiful. I decided to go with the moderate itinerary. After all, this was my first backpacking trip alone. Whatever your weekend plans are this weekend, I bet that a backpacking trip would provide the same if not more value than whatever plan you do have because it's going to force your mind to turn off and for you to look into yourself and for you to feel that peace that nature provides you if you give it your attention. I ended up picking this moderate itinerary right here. I'm camping at First Water Creek the first night, at La Barge Canyon the second night, and then on Sunday I hike out and drive back. So then I noted that the challenging loop is about 16 miles, the moderate itinerary is about 10, different elevation gains. This is moderate, this is actually more on the easy side, it ended up being about 12 miles. Am I going to see some of the most beautiful places in the superstitions? And then it said yes, absolutely and it described all of these. I combined all of my narrative with the chatbot into one single prompt that you can use for any of your trips going forward. Give me a challenging and a moderate backpacking itinerary for you insert your national park, you insert your free time, and then you insert the starting and ending point. Drop this in. Pick the itinerary you like and you think is best for you. You can grab some highlights if you want. That's what you're gonna see. So then you can check this out. Let me make some tools available to you. Go to Gaia GPS, make an account, and then for free, you can plan your route. This is the itinerary I used for my trip. Drop in the title of your trip. Start at First Water Trailhead, and you can search these places up. Go down 104 along First Water Creek. Camp around somewhere along the creek. So you can see the creek is right here. Add a waypoint to indicate a camping spot all the way up to Labarge Canyon where we first reach the Boulder Canyon Trail, which is right here. Boulder Canyon Trail. And then this is Labarge Canyon right here. So I just trace my way up the path. Then I start my route back home. So just like that, I have a route set up. This is completely free. You can do this with your backpacking trip. You just trace along and you can check out the elevation gain along your trail. If you live in Arizona, you can go to hikeaz.com, search for your trail. Not only do you have a bunch of information ready for you, you can also check out the waters, the water map. My route is starting at this trailhead and it's, it's taking a loop like this. Using this map, we can see the flow of all the local creeks in the area based on user reports. For food, I have a stove, some isobutane, and then for food, I picked up some things at the finest establishment in the land, of course. Trail mix, hydratable potatoes, some ramen, oatmeal, and of course, meat sticks. The rule of thumb for water is about a gallon per day per person. I have this 2.5 liter pouch and I have a water filter to produce more water. A sleeping bag and sleeping pad. And then I have my way oversized four person tent, which definitely is not intended for backpacking. It's for car camping. Some toiletries and some things to keep me entertained and occupied while I'm on the trail. Now that I have everything ready to go, I'm gonna head in my car and head out to the trailhead. It's interesting, I've never done a solo backpacking trip before. This is my first one. So it almost feels like you're coming with me, whoever's watching this, that you are joining me for my trip. So 
welcome from behind the screen. We are currently subservient to ChatGPT's trip guidance. So I just made it here after a couple of miles on a nice dirt road and it's beautiful. So it's only been a couple minutes. I've been hiking for like 20 minutes and I've already come across the first creek. It doesn't look that clean though, but I have a filter. Some things I'm noticing as we go is that it's actually really green and lush for this being a desert. So far, this is really beautiful and it's looking very promising. I can hear them. All the water that I'm walking by is like the life portal for all the mosquitoes and other creatures that wanna eat me while I sleep tonight. The only thing I'm getting worried about is that it's getting kind of darker. The sun's down. See? I have a big tent and I've seen almost no spots to put a tent. And I've been hiking for a while and I haven't seen a single person. Look at all this thick grass. You can't put a tent there. So I'm probably gonna have to keep going and find a spot in the dark. I just crested over the top of a little hill and this whole new part of the mountain range came into view and I'm headed in that direction. So I'm really excited about that. I'm happy to say I found my spot. It's very rocky, but it's a four person tent. So I'm gonna put it here and then this will be my section right here. So I'll be nice and smooth and then I'm gonna cook dinner. It's pretty clear to me that the, this place is not usually used for camping. Like I don't see any campsites really out here. This campsite, I would rate the hominess as a, probably like a two, but with my little chairs, I think I brought it up to maybe a four or a three. Good morning. Um, I just woke up, it's kind of cold. I want to lay here for a while, but I should really get up and get moving. So day two is here. Um, what is the plan according to ChatGPT? The plan is I'm going to take down the tent and then immediately start continuing on the path, take a left on Boulder Canyon Trail, and then try to find the La Barge Canyon and set up camp for the next night there before it gets super hot out. ChatGPT, I trust you. The trail that I'm on just got a lot less trail-y and a lot more kind of sketchy. Like it doesn't look like a lot of people have been here. And so far I've gone through sort of this plains, like pretty even terrain. That's kind of where I am now. These plants right here, these are cacti, a type of cactus I believe, that grows into the form of a tree sometimes. They're very tall when you touch one of the spikes, you don't just get poked, but apparently one of the little modules can shoot off onto your body. And the thing that's kind of freaky is that they're very close to this trail, this little like baby trail thing that I'm on. And my shins have just been sliding by all these plants and I've just been paying close attention to make sure that I don't get poked by anything that's actually dangerous. Yeah, like see this? Right there, that could have smashed my arm. We are really going through the desert here. Like, this is great. ChatGPT is doing a great job. I'm crossing this river for like the eighth time now. This trail just keeps going back and forth across it. And it's really nice because it sounds relaxing and it's refreshing and cool. And I'm feeling good. So cue the feel good music.
And uh, so I was looking on the map and I almost thought we were there, but I'm not hiking fast enough to reach the confluence where we're gonna be camping. So I, we must be at the previous one. Back on track, beautiful scenery around here. Let's keep going, let's keep trucking. I'm feeling great and the sun isn't even like really pushing down on us yet because we are kind of in a canyon. have to see which mountain looks the most like a battleship and then just use that one and hope that it's there so I mean that one right in front of me kind of looks like a battleship I just went up a really steep part we're almost to the canyon and the scenery is changing there's some amazing views from up here we made it to the bottom of the canyon but it is beautiful down here this is amazing. I am so happy with this. This is incredible. Wow. I'm gonna just pop my stuff down and, and pitch the tent just to like kind of claim the territory, but I'm still gonna poke around a little bit and just see what else is here. But there's still some shade left this morning and I finally got my shoes uh, off, but I just want you to know that my feet are free. All these words are always in the way. Time to see how it tastes. It tastes great. It tastes really good. In fact, I'd almost say it tastes better than tap water. Instead of there being a normal top to the hill that's rounded off, there's a giant wall that shoots straight up. I've taken pretty much the whole day to be on Spotify and read and explore. Because those are really the only three things that I can do. It's weird to me the quantity of people who say, oh yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to go there, but I just never ended up doing it. And then the thing that they want to go to is right near them. That includes this trip that I'm on right now. I just was at a lunch with someone two days ago and they said they wished they went backpacking when they had all the years to do it. And then now they have a kid on the way and they can't do that for a while. This is your message to go do this. And the only time to do it is just, do you want to? If the answer is yes, just do it now. What else do you have to do? And then if it's backpacking specifically, then just use this video or you could even reach out to me in the comments and I can help you with your trip. For hominess, I, what did I rate last night? I think I rated it a two. But now for hominess, I'm gonna give this one a seven or an eight. Good morning. It's morning number two. I had a hard time falling asleep last night because frogs were so loud. I feel pretty rested. And then beyond that, I'm gonna get out there and set up um, an oatmeal pack for myself, maybe a hot chocolate pack, and then get on my way. 7.03 a.m. and I'm leaving my cute little campsite and it's off to go back to the car. See you up there. I think I lost the trail because this does not feel like a trail anymore. It just feels like uh, maybe like someone went down here a few times type of thing. Let's see. So I did have to use some GPS to get back on track, but I found the next trail. 
straight that way. I just climbed a lot and I finally hit an even plane. It's been hard because of the sun on me, but it's flattened out and I got a really good workout in. It's almost like a really like mangy version of the Phoenix Botanical Garden. You got a rattlesnake. I have not seen a snake ever hiking out here. So this is my first snake. Wow. And uh, you guys might've saved me there. Yeah. You probably did actually. Dude. No AirPods anymore. <laughs> you won't know when yeah. you get bit. So that was scary. I've never seen a snake hiking here before. And I've been in Arizona for two years. But there it was, a rattlesnake, right in the middle of the path. And uh, some guy had like driven it away, watched the snake get increasingly more angry as we talked about him. I had my AirPods in, usually transparency mode is pretty good at being able to hear things, but it was scary. So I'm not gonna put my AirPods in anymore when I'm hiking. Or maybe at least just one AirPod, not two. Same, same. We're out in the open. I've seen a lot more people lately. More desert plains, more dryness. I'm almost done. I can see the last trail convergence right in front of me. I am super close. And all things considered, especially since I didn't get bitten by that snake, ChatGPT, you have brought me on a great solo camping trip through the desert. That was indeed a moderate difficulty. I got lost a few times, but I found my way thanks to GPS and decent directional skills. But I'm about to pop out to my car. We are done, baby. Back and it's not even 10 a.m. and I'm sitting here in air conditioning once again. That was great. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. You'll feel like it.